Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortron Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we will be talking about active properties of relationship in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. In this video we will certainly talk about three points. In the first point we will talk about what is active properties of relationship. Secondly we will talk about how to make relationship active and inactive. Thirdly we will talk about how does it affect your visualization. So these are the things we will discuss in today's video. For that we have to go and understand in Power BI Desktop that how these three things works. Now we are in Power BI Desktop in a data model interface in a report view where visualization you can see. If you want to learn more about this data model interface you can go to my previous video and see how does this interface interact. In here we have three view in a report view, data view and a relationship view. So in a relationship view, if you go, you will see the relationship that we have created between two dimension table with a fact table as in the star schema technique. We have created this relationship which is one directional. You can see it through direction that this is one directional from this table to this table from this table to this table. So this is the relationship when we go in a visualization we can see how does this relationship work again we go into the relationship view so you can see the relationship is currently active active that means the table is interacting with each other without any complication in visualization which is a report view again we go back to a relationship view here you will see the relationship is active now we want to create a relationship from active to inactive how to do that for doing and changing the activity and properties of a relationship we have to go into a manage relationship when we click a manage relationship there is one dialog box that opens up in here you will see the both of the interaction and relationship is interactive and which is we can say the both table are active and interacting with each other if I click on it and again click on it on both of the two relationship firstly I will only do it once so you would understand the difference between them after that when I do a close you will see the changes in your relationship in here this is a bold line between these two table in here you will see a dotted line that means the relationship between dimension age group table and fact population table is not active and it became a inactive property of these two table again when I go back to a relationship view you will see there is no visualization because I have just made this relationship inactive. If I do it with a region name then you can see the relationship is active for that because we haven't changed the relationship of that thing. I will put a country name in legend. You will see the visualization is currently active because the relationship between fact population and region is active but it is not similar in this case of dimension age group and fact population group we have created this relationship inactive then again how to change the relationship so there are two things that you can do either again you go back to manage relationship again click on this and your relationship will be active because I have already told you this option I will tell you another option to make your relationship active double click on this relation you will see a dialog box that opens up which is added relationship in here in the end you will see make this relationship active as an option just click on it after that click on ok again you will see a dotted line convert into a board line which says the uh, dimension age group and fact population is now interacting because the properties of being in a relationship is active again when I go back to my visualization in spite of a region name I compare my data into a category and put the dam age group in that means dimension age group of category column into a legend so you will see now the visualization is happening so this is an active property of relationship 
so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day